I love these old-fashioned lamp posts. And even though they're no longer powered by gas, they've been replaced by electric, that still doesn't remove the character. Now, as much as I would love to tell this lamppost story in one shot, I don't think that's going to be possible. But the joy of social media is I can use more than one shot to really try and capture this lamppost in its glory. First things first, I'm going to take a, a wide shot, if you like. Try and get everything in one before we punch in on some details. So making sure that my lamp post is aligned as best as I can with the left hand grid line. I can get some of the other lamp posts in the distance in. I can also get some of the cars as they drive by. Right, that's the wide shot. Let's uh, go into some details now. And I think this detail down here is what I'm going to take a look at. So I'm going to get down to its level and get straight onto it really. The, helpfully, the grid lines across the center of the frame align almost perfectly with the verticals of the lamp post. So I'm gonna try and get, as much as it was nice with the other shot to get some vehicles passing by, I kind of feel as though I want this shot to be clean if possible. Let's, let's just get some with the vehicles and then without, there we go. And what I might do while I'm here is just zoom in. Ah, oh, there we go. So just to, with exactly the same framing, just punch in a little bit. Just see even more of that delightful detail, all telling the story of this beautiful lamppost. Super stuff. And then finally, let's go to the business end of this lamp, the light bit. I'm sure there's a more technical term than that. I'm still on my two times zoom lens here and just aligning the lamppost with the thirds. This works really nicely because we've got the background of the trees just to give a bit of context here. We've got the negative on the left of the sky. The colouring of the tree matches the, the light too. So I think that the foreground and the background there complement each other really, really well. Well, there we go, three very complementary shots, and each of them is interesting in its own right, but I'm hoping that bringing them together, the total will be more than the sum of its parts. This big wide shot of the lamppost provides important context. We can see the road and the pavement that it lights up, and they provide some really nice lines going horizontally across and then kind of vertically and diagonally upwards leading my viewers eyes into the distance also taking us there are some cyclists and a car as well it's a, a really good start to this triptych of images we zoom into a detail on the base of the lamppost here and i tried a few different shot sizes this slightly more zoomed in one really worked for me and the gold really sings out, contrasts against the, the black. And I really like the textures on this shot as well. And then as I called it the business end of the lamp, the, the light really contrasts as I knew it would with the oranges and yellows and browns of the tree. And they in turn work well with the, the pale blue of the evening sky. Really nicely composed image, even if I do say so myself. And really, as a set of three images in a carousel on social media, I think they do a really good job of telling the story of this picturesque, quaint old lamppost. Mm -hmm.